What's going on, eaters and feeders? My name is Casey Cochran. I'm one of the very proud founders of Fit Food Fresh. Hopefully, you've been watching our channel for a while, but if not, before we get started, let's make sure you hit that subscribe and alert button. Make sure you get in all the alerts so you don't miss out on any of the videos that I've been posting. Now, we're in the throes of COVID-19. It's sweeping the globe. While there are a lot of opportunities to start your meal prep company, it is also a very tumultuous time because tensions and emotions are high. This is a, a service that is extremely crucial to a lot of people, especially if they have any health concerns, which everybody does, but some have some pre-existing conditions that make it even more important that you're good at what you do. Effective customer service is gonna build the trust that will be the foundation of a long-term relationship that you could be earning with the people who are using and coming to your service right now. In this video, I'm gonna tell you how to be proactive with customer service to make mistakes easier to handle, and I'm also gonna walk through how to turn a mistake into an opportunity to actually come out positive on the other end. Sound crazy? Well, customer service is probably what I pride myself in way more than sales or anything else, so stay tuned and see what I have to say on that. If you have any comments, anything you wanna add, anything you wanna correct me on, hit me in the comments below. Also, speaking of below, in the notes below, we're gonna have a few links. Now, I've got a boot camp that's set up to teach you how to start a meal prep company with just $500. There's an ebook that goes along with that boot camp. I also have an order tracking software that is completely free, the Beast 6. Check out my other videos on that. It's a convoluted mess, but it's a beautiful piece of some formulas and spreadsheets and all sorts of chaos that actually works. And we actually had to survive on it a few weeks back if you wanna check some old, older videos when our website crashed and we went back to the beast. It worked just fine, so I'm even more proud than normal to be pushing it for you guys now. Again, it's 100% free, so at least check it out and see if it could be of use to you. All of that is gonna be in the links below as well as ways to get involved with our private group. Now this is a group that is just for meal preppers or people who are serious about taking the next step on their meal prep journey. It's a private group. I'm available a lot more often as well as so many other people who are at different levels of the game. So you're able to pull all of that experience together through the group, get your questions answered a lot faster and see a lot more behind the scenes content that I post in the group. But if you're still just doing your research, I suggest you stay over here, stay with the videos, stay with all the free content. I'm going to be putting it out regularly. Every single week, there's gonna be new content coming out and it's all gonna be free. So you can check out all that stuff. And again, when you're ready to take the next step, you think that you're serious about starting the meal prep business, you've done your research and you're ready to learn how to really put some rubber to the road, or maybe you've already started and you're ready to grow and improve this machine that you're building, then, is when I would suggest going to the private group. And again, all that information is in the links below. But without further ado, let's get into it. Welcome to our channel where we go behind the scenes for meal plan company Fit Food Fresh and other local businesses across South Florida. Make sure you hit the subscribe and alerts so you never miss a video and hit us with any questions or suggestions. Customer service in this business is crucial. This is a relationship business. So we are looking for long-term clients and members as we like to call them, right? That means that you are going to rely very heavily on your customer service. I would say that, especially in this business and probably with most businesses, customer service is more important than sales because without effective sales, you may grow slowly, but without good customer service, you will die painfully. You'll have a horrible reputation, you'll have a bunch of refunds, you'll have a bunch of issues that you're gonna be paying out the nose for if you don't know how to resolve customer service issues. Mistakes happen, they're inevitable. As long as you have human beings involved with your business, you're going to have mistakes, right? What's important is how you recover. And with effective customer service, you'll be able to recover more often than not and actually use that as an opportunity to impress your clients. Now, the first thing I'll advise is to be as reachable as possible. You obviously want to set the right expectations even within that, as in the right business hours and working days, but you'd like for your members to have no problem getting a hold of you if they needed to. With us, we're available through text, call, email, you could walk in the door, you can hit us through social media, whatever you need to do to reach out to us, we try to be as accessible as possible. I normally carry around a phone that's gonna have our social media accounts on it, so if I get any messages, I can respond through there. You could respond through our Yelp, you could respond through Google. We get alerts for everything. So above and beyond email and phone calls, you're gonna wanna make sure that you have these other things set in place 
to allow your members to reach you when they need to. A lot of times, if someone's heated, simply responding in a timely fashion is gonna prevent them from escalating to a negative review. And it gets a lot harder to fix the problem once someone's walked themselves out on a plank, that's what I like to call it. Imagine someone walking all the way out, they're bluffing, their ego is allowing them to make this huge gesture of frustration. And if it results in a review, it's a lot harder for them to walk that back because it's gonna tell their ego that you were wrong and you did something wrong and now you gotta take that back. And it's very hard for an ego to do, especially after they feel like they were slighted. Now with us, above and beyond being available through text, email, phone call, social media, and everything else I mentioned, we also have a dedicated email for members who want to reach out to myself, my business partner, our office manager, our chef, and our logistics manager. So if you have praise that you wanna share, or more importantly, if you have some critiques that you wanna share, we arm our members with that email. The most important part of it is they feel a sense of satisfaction. They feel like now the big dogs know what's going on. This isn't an issue that's being hidden by someone who's lower on the totem pole, and they might not feel it's as necessary to go and hit you on reviews or leave a comment on social media where everyone else is gonna be privy to the issue that they're experiencing. Hey guys, I wanted to take a quick break to hear a word from our sponsor. Me. Now, if this is your first time on my channel, welcome. My name's Casey. I teach people how to start and grow successful meal prep businesses. If that's something you're interested in, which I assume it is because you're watching this, subscribe and hit the alerts. You're also gonna wanna check out the links in the notes below. If you're looking to learn more about this, I've got a free mini course, I've got a free ebook, I've got a free order tracking system that'll hold up to 620 different clients a week. Plenty of stuff to at least get you started. If you've already started or if you're serious about getting started, I invite you to also check out those links. That'll get you access to me. That'll get you access to the private group, the Meal Plan Mafia. It's like a brain trust of people who are in the meal prep business figuring it out. We believe that we can achieve more together, sharing our experiences than any of us could individually by ourselves. Software, bags, containers, consulting, all sorts of stuff that you're gonna love having access to if you're serious about being successful in the meal prep business. But that's enough for me, let's get back to our show. Hey guys, just another reminder, Pause right now, subscribe and hit the alerts if you haven't done so already, and also check out those links. It'll take you to my site. Through there, you could book consultation. You can get access to the private group. You can get information on sourcing bags and containers and software and all sorts of other stuff. There's free eBooks, there's free mini courses, so much free content, the podcast, all sorts of stuff. If you're watching this, I assure you that you have interest in what those links have in store for you. Pulling up to Fit Food Fresh now, let's get back to the show. What's going on guys? Quick self-promotion. Just wanna make sure you guys are subscribed, you guys got the alerts on, and I wanna make sure you guys have already checked out the links in the notes below. I've got a private group, I've got a website, I've got a mini course, I've got an ebook, I've got software, order tracking system, consultation, sourcing materials, so much stuff. You better be checking out those links. If you're watching this video and you haven't checked out those links, you're not serious. Come on, what are you doing? Get together. Pulling up to Fit Food Fresh now, let's get back to the show. You'll hear me talk about the ego a lot in my videos, especially when I'm talking about customer service or management. Why? Because the ego is such a major influencer on all of us. Don't exclude yourself from that either. Everyone's got an ego, and if you aren't aware of yours, you are an idiot and you are setting yourself up for failure because if you don't understand your own ego and your own weaknesses, you won't be able to empathize and identify with your members and what they're going through in the most heated situations. Customer service is all about ego control, not only your own, but also by controlling your own ego, it makes it easier for you to control the other person's. Now you heard me mention the word opportunities before and you're probably thinking that was a mistake, but I assure you it's not. Honestly, mistakes are the biggest opportunities that your business is gonna have to prove itself and its customer service. Think about this scenario. You walk into a room, you flip a light switch, the light turns on. Now you do that multiple times a day, every single day for years. You're never gonna be impressed by that light switch turning on the lights, right? Because it just becomes something that you expect. You flip the switch and the lights come on. You're not amazed by it. You're not even appreciative of it. You probably don't even notice it. You take it for granted because it's worked perfectly every single time. It's never shown up on your radar since that initial convenience 
was introduced to you by flipping on that switch in your first couple of attempts. When mistakes happen, you end up on that person's radar. You interrupt their day and you have their full attention. Attention is such a valuable thing, even in negative situations. And if you're able to control yourself and certain variables in the situation, you can actually turn that negative into a positive because nothing is more impressive than customer service in a very well executed recovery. When someone has their full attention on you, even in that negative situation, and you perform in an impressive way, in a way that stands out above all the other experiences that they've had, because I assure you, they have had negative experiences with other companies, right? Well, if those companies haven't gone above and beyond like you're about to, to impress them, you're gonna stand out head and shoulders above the rest, making your company a more valued service in their eyes. Now, where does this start? Well, this starts way before the mistake. I actually recommend that you're proactive about it. Within the first conversation that you have with the members, when you're setting the expectations initially for the entire relationship, I think it's important for you to say, listen, we make mistakes. We're a company full of people, we're all prone to making an error here and there, just like any other company. By saying that, especially the just like any other company bit, you're now making a realistic expectation of not only are we maybe gonna mess up, but everybody's gonna mess up. So you're in the same situation with us as you would be with somebody else. But what you're gonna follow up with is something to the likes of we will recover from any mistakes in such a way that you should be impressed and almost looking forward to the next time we make a mistake. And that's our goal. What's going on guys? Quick self-promotion. Just wanna make sure you guys are subscribed, you guys got the alerts on, and I wanna make sure you guys have already checked out the links in the notes below. I've got a private group, I've got a website, I've got a mini course, I've got an ebook, I've got software, order tracking system, consultation, sourcing materials, so much stuff. You better be checking out those links. If you're watching this video and you haven't checked out those links, you're not serious. Come on, what are you doing? Get it together. Pulling up to Fit Food Fresh now, let's get back to the show. Another thing that's gonna be very important is follow-up. In the beginning of the program especially, people are very concerned about what they're getting into. There's a lot of uncertainty. They don't know if they can trust you yet. So if you're able to hold their hand and tell them what you're gonna do, follow through with it. Even if it's as something as, I'm gonna follow up with you the day after you get your first delivery. I wanna make sure you've had enough time to try the food and give me some honest feedback of what you think of the service at that point. They're not gonna mind that you didn't follow up with them Monday. I would also ask them if there's any issues with the delivery that they follow up with you Monday, otherwise you don't wanna bother them on a hectic Monday. The point is set a realistic expectation. If they get a delivery and there's a mistake and they're expecting an immediate call or follow up or even worse, they don't know what to expect and they just feel like they've been forgotten about and you just screwed up their delivery, that's a horrible first impression. But if you tell them that you're gonna follow up and you make sure you follow up and you look for sincere, critical feedback, they're gonna appreciate it. We do at least two follow-ups. If the first two deliveries are, are flawless, we're still gonna follow up with them at least twice. First on a Tuesday, as we tell them to expect the week prior, and then on Thursday, immediately after the second delivery, just to make sure everything's great and to ask them if they're gonna get another order in. This is a great time to try to upsell. Point them in the direction of some desserts or some snacks or some other items on the menu that they haven't tried yet. Also, an excellent opportunity while you're fresh in their brain, if you've impressed them, for a referral. And if you can get referrals, if you can start getting referrals in the first few weeks of the program, your company is going to grow astronomically. So make a habit of doing that. Set the right expectation before they have your service, follow up immediately to make sure everything's great. And then as soon as you know you've done a good job and you have them giving you compliments or better yet raving about their experience, that's when you ask for the referral. Hey, do you know anybody who eats and enjoys this service and would probably like to save time or whatever the value they found in your service was? Someone in their life has the same values, whether it's saving time, losing weight, being able to just not have to worry about these things. A lot of their friends, coworkers, or neighbors are probably gonna have similar interests as I've discussed in other videos about sales. So use that opportunity while you're still fresh in their brain, it's something that's still novel and they're very impressed with to get another referral, get some more clients, get an upsell, 
do something positive, maybe a review if they're that impressed. Although that might be a little high friction that early in the relationship, you never know. And it's a great thing to try. Worst case scenario, they say no. And then you ask them, well, what could I do to earn that referral, earn that review, talk you into buying more meals for the weekend, talk you into trying the desserts, whatever it is. Now let's talk about mistakes. Now let's pretend a mistake has happened. Now what do we do? Well, first of all, you want to get on it immediately and you want to hit it with an apology. If someone calls up on the phone or if they hit you through a chat or they hit you through text, whatever it is, immediately apologize. I'm so sorry to hear whatever it is. Don't worry about what their name is. Don't worry about digging into their file. Don't worry about seeing the notes or calling logistics or calling a driver or figuring out what happened. Immediately assume they're right assume you're wrong and show them that you are sincere about your intention to make up for it and take care of them. That will make them feel so much better. Even if they're in the wrong, you can discover that later and they're going to be so disarmed by then that their ego is just going to deflate. If you immediately start apologizing, it's so much more satisfying to the ego than you giving them some kind of friction. If you, even if you're just pausing to look up their file, their ego is going to sit there and brew and they're going to be blaming whoever's on the other end of the phone or the chat for whatever injustice they've suffered. So hit it off at the head, hit it immediately with an apology and start defusing them. The next thing you're going to do is once you've dug into the situation, you'll start giving them an explanation as to what went wrong. So it'll be phone call, phone rings. Here's the issue. You guys charged me and I don't see any food. I'm so sorry, let me look right into this, I'm gonna take care of you. Give them that kind of insurance, tell them something like that, tell them you're gonna take care of them, tell them that you're gonna start getting to work on this for them. And like I said, you have to apologize. Then, what's the last name on the file? What's the last name on your account? What name is your membership under? Whatever it is that you need to look up their file, get that information and then dig into it. If you're waiting for your computer to load up, don't let the silence kill the momentum of your apology. Continue letting them know that you're empathizing with them, waiting for the computer to load. Hey, I know this is a horrible way for you to start a Monday. I'm so sorry. I'm going to get right to this. Let's see what we can do for you. Let me just see what happened and I can know how to fix it. Dig into it. Okay, well, it turns out that you put this address in. Is this the address that you wanted to? Oh, it's an eight instead of a three. Okay, there's the mistake. Nobody's wrong. Or actually, you put in an order in yesterday and that's for next week. So you're calling heated about a service that you didn't really purchase yet. It, you're, you're purchasing something in the future. You don't have the right to expect it to show up yet. However, if you were to have met that kind of scenario with, well, you know, let's see how maybe you're wrong or let me look into this before I apologize. That person might feel, again, their ego is still going to be inflated. By the time you tell them, oh, well, you actually purchased next week, they might be like, oh, never mind, cancel it. I thought this was a more immediate service or whatever else. They're going to be more concerned with being vindictive because they'll feel slighted and they can't be wrong. There has to be something wrong with you. So unless you're able to drown that ego out with more logical and rational uh, thinking, so unless you're able to lower that ego's temperature, bring it back down to earth where it's more reasonable, it's not going to allow that person to make very rational decisions. Even if it's something that's against the person's best interest, they're not gonna calm down and realize that until later. And trust me, once they've burned the bridge, it's even more impossible to get their ego to come back, mend the bridge, swallow their pride, tuck their tail in, and continue service with you. So don't let that happen. Don't let it get to that point. So now we're digging into their file. We're able to explain what the situation is, regardless of what the explanation is, whether it's our mistake or their mistake. Maybe it's something that is on the website and they just didn't read it and that's their own problem. Offer some kind of explanation on how you're going to fix it, how you're going to resolve it, how you're going to make sure it never happens to them again. Even if it's something that they just didn't understand, just say, I'm going to walk you through everything. I'm going to answer every one of your questions. If there's something you're just the tiniest bit gray on, I want to make sure that we dig deep through it because I want to make sure this is the right program for you. I want to make sure you get the most out of it. And I want to make sure your experience is as amazing as possible. Maybe it's just something you have to add to the delivery driver's notes. It might be a really simple resolution, but letting them know that you're sorry, then what happened, then how you're going to fix it are crucial. Now, the fourth step is also crucial. How are you going to make it up to me? If there's any ego left, if they have any heat and energy and negativity left in them through their ego, this is what's going to give you the best shot at squashing it finally. 
making it up to them. Sometimes you'll have to buy back a meal. Sometimes you'll have to buy back an entire delivery. Sometimes you'll have to go even above and beyond that. But again, we have to focus on the long-term relationship. If you're able to have this person for years, because maybe they're difficult and they've had bad experiences before and no one's ever treated them that well, they might calm down and be a better client there forward knowing that they can finally trust a company, yours, and know that if there's any mistakes in the future, you're going to take care of it. If you've been watching my videos, you know that we've gone through some absolute madness the last few weeks between our website crashing, the COVID-19 pandemic sweeping the entire globe, and two of our key customer service and salespeople quitting with no notice. It has been crazy. I've been neck deep in customer service, and those skills have allowed us to navigate this entire scenario so much more easily. We've actually received several reviews through this entire ordeal based on the customer service we've been able to deliver. Five-star reviews despite all this other stuff going wrong. So I want to show you that that is an example of how you can turn all of these negative situations to something that's either neutralized or potentially positive if you handle it the right way. We've been able to gain referrals, gain reviews, gain exposure all through this entire process where we've probably made more mistakes in the last three weeks than we have in the last three months. Another reason I say good customer service is more important than sales is good customer service can actually foster referrals. Referrals are amazing. A great sales pitch might be able to get that person to sign and close, but are they going to stay with you? I don't know. Customer service not only helps with retention and fights attrition, it makes further acquisition more organic and natural. We'll have people who will just sign up on our program without a sales pitch, without being convinced into anything because their friend had a great experience with us. And odds are their friend hasn't had a flawless experience with us, but they're more impressed by a mistake that we made and the way we recovered from it. All right, guys, so that wraps it up. Again, I thought this was a poignant video, especially with the times that we're going through right now. Um, I didn't want to talk too much about the COVID-19 stuff because I know you guys are getting plenty of that. I do hope that everyone is going through it as well as possible. A lot of people are going to be affected by this. This is something where um, the, the more we take it seriously, the better it's going to be. You, unfortunately, are going to have to save yourselves in this situation. We can't rely on other people to protect us from this. This is something that comes down to what we do. Us touching our own faces, us watching our, washing our hands, us practicing social distancing. Um, so that's my little PSA to you personally. Please take this seriously. Please encourage everyone around you, even the people rolling your eyes, please encourage them to take it seriously. We're taking the precautions here, wearing gloves and masks. Um, we're going to be trying to work from home this week. All sorts of other things that I just want to put in your brains in case you're watching it. Maybe I'll do some videos on that. Probably just going to do some little tidbits in the private group. Check out the links below for the private group, for the ebook, for the boot camp, for consultation, for all that other stuff that I mentioned before, the order tracker, all that other stuff. Check it out below. And again, please subscribe, hit the alerts, share some videos, hit the comments, show your support, and let me know what I can do for you guys. I want to help as many people as possible, not only have their businesses survive through the pandemic, but I think you guys can thrive through the pandemic if you do things the right way.